Kuzu Zangbola, Bhutan e-learning project welcomes you to this lesson. My name is Denzen Doji. I work as one of the vice principals at ELC High School here in Tempo. This is a media studies lesson intended for key stage five, which is meant for grades 11 and 12. Today, in this session, I am going to take you through 25 minutes lesson on media literacy. Now, I'm pretty sure that you have been able to capture quite a bit from the previous lesson, which was on what is media. And today, in this session, when we are actually trying to look at what is media literacy and the important aspects of media literacy, we need to go back to what is media just so that we can connect. First, there are two words being used here, media and literacy. Media, as you are well aware, is a mode or technology through which the information is spread or through which the information is channelized. For example, as you already know, TV, newspapers, books, anything through which the information is channelized as media. Now the new word here used is literacy. It literally means competence or knowledge in specified in a specified area. So here we are looking at competence or a knowledge in the area of media. However, I would like to warn you that there uh, is a chance to misunderstand and misinterpret this because normally people do misunderstand media studies with media literacy. Media studies is the area of the subject, area of the study, subject area of the study. Today, we are not looking at that. We are trying to understand media literacy. So please be warned about that. Okay, to go forward, let's try to look at, first look at a couple of definitions regarding what media literacy is. Now, this definition here provided by Fran Trampist says that media literacy is about asking smart questions and making smart choices. Smart questions, smart choices. Now what do you understand from that? How do we interpret that? Basically, when we are talking using the word the smart, the word smart being used here refers to being able to use media selectively and reflectively. Being able to select media that is relevant to you, that is appropriate for you, that is accurate, that is authentic, and not just being able to consume just like that, but by being able to mindfully consume what is needed and what is not needed. Therefore, it also means being able to filter what is not needed. And smart question here refers to being able to access and then interpret, analyze, and evaluate what is useful for you. So that is what this definition is telling us. Let's look at another definition. The ability to access, analyze, evaluate, and produce communication in a variety of forms. Now, please do note these keywords that are surfacing time and again. As access, analyze, evaluate, 
and produce media in a variety of forms means from a written piece of news to TV from print to video to the internet to be able to produce media is also known as media literacy first access when we are talking about access as you know the literal meaning of access is some form of doorway being able to get what you want being able to get to the source of the information or whatever you want that is access however when we are talking about access we are talking about accessing information that is useful that is relevant and that is appropriate for you you have to examine who are you in what position are you trying to access this information for what purpose are you trying to access this information are you looking at this information for your assignment are you looking at this information just for the uh, mere consumption are you looking at this information for entertainment what is your purpose who are you are you a student are you a researcher are you a professor are you a teacher why are you looking at this information is it relevant to you is it useful so being able to critically and mindfully access what is useful and relevant to you that is access now second we came across the term analyze meaning the ability to decode deconstruct media and being able to think critically how those media or messages affect one's life that is called analyzing the media decoding the media or deconstructing the media so basically when you are deconstructing the media decoding the media or analyzing the media you are looking at the key aspects such as who has produced this media who is the author behind this media what was the purpose why was this media created in the first place what was the agenda behind that who actually put in money to create this media what impact are they targeting in terms of the impact that they are looking at how would different people react differently to the same uh, media or the message or the information what is the content what kind of techniques are used in order to come up with this media is there a background music is there involvement or engagement of uh, uh, different technology animation what technology what techniques i mean what techniques are being used here how could different people interpret this same media differently what is the context very important to understand when was this created in which context what context was this media created that is very important for everyone to understand and of course is it a credible is it coming from a credible source is the source authentic is, or is it just a fake news is it just created by somebody without any uh, purpose or agenda behind it or was it just thing created for entertainment therefore understanding what credibility the source has is it coming from an institution is it just a personal opinion is it just a, uh, a group of uh, people's uh, uh, perception what who created this so being able to analyze all these things when you access information is known as analyzing media so that is very important in media literacy now the next one was evaluating ability to make informed decision or a decision based on reason facts and figures and the ability to use media for a specific purpose based on relevancy accuracy reliability that is what you should understand as evaluate in this area right now so that we have already looked at 
when we actually talked about the credibility of the source, uh, who has authored this, all this thing, the deconstruction uh, area that we have looked at, actually it was already covered there. So access, analyze, evaluate, three things we covered under what is media literacy and the key components of calling yourself or having the competency to be a media literate person. The fourth one said produce or create. So now it's not just about consumption. When we are talking about access, analyze, evaluate all these things, we were talking about consuming media and having the competency to consume media mindfully. But here's a different uh, expect to this. You also need to be able to produce and create media. But again, how do we do that? You have to have the ability to create media messages for a particular purpose using multiple media formats and of course ethically, which we will cover next. For example, now, right now, I am producing a media. As you see, I've already produced by the time you see, but who is my audience when I produce this or create this? Who is my audience? What language do I use? What medium do I use? What is the context? The context right now is this is being used or created during the time of emergency. And why? Who are the audience? I am basically targeting 11th and 12th graders who are being introduced to media studies. I have to have specific understanding of who my target audience is. Likewise, what kind of language do we use? What format do we use? How effective is that format? Do I use background music? Do I use, you know, do I uh, use different camera angles to make it creative? What is the purpose? Based on the purpose, do I or am I able to create a media that is effective in relation to what this is intended for? That is the fourth uh, competency, producing or creating media mindfully and understanding media ethics. And now, the fifth, of course, which actually is a very important aspect of being a media literate, is being able to act, being able to involve yourself in a very ethical manner. Not just understanding what is media and being able to produce media will make you a media literate person. You have to be able to create and act in such a manner that you are actively or democratically building positive society, behaving responsibly in an information-based society. So that is also a very important aspect of media literacy. So we have looked at the keywords, please remember the keywords, access, analyze, evaluate, and then create or produce media and overall being ethical and acting mindfully when we are dealing with media is what is media literacy. I hope you are following me. Now, if we just leave it to what is media literacy based on those keywords or the key components, it is very, again, likely to be uh, challenged by lots of misconceptions. People do uh, uh, misunderstand media literacy due to various reasons. Uh, therefore, I am going to highlight in the next segment what is not media literacy. I repeat, what is not media literacy? It's not just important, it's not just enough to understand what is media literacy. You have to also understand what is not media literacy. So, what is not media literacy? Something that is most commonly misunderstood is media bashing. Therefore, 
media bashing is not media literacy putting forth fierce criticisms that could damage others image or create disharmony or chaos or panic that is not media literacy media bashing doesn't uh, mean media literacy media literacy is about in fact being able to involve yourself and engage in critically analyzing media and positively or constructively providing criticism that is media literacy so media bashing is not media literacy please understand this next if you think merely producing media making a video making a facebook post makes you a media literate person that is again incorrect just for the sake of doing it without being thoughtful or mindful or reflective that doesn't mean media literacy media literacy therefore doesn't mean merely producing media knowing and employing media components as we looked at when we actually looked at media construction and deconstruction being able to effectively used use these key components is actually media literacy so just being able to produce media doesn't make you a media literate person next if you are simply looking at or simply looking for political agenda stereotypes or misrepresentations that is not media literacy again fabricating things or misleading viewers is not media literacy in fact you should be able to explore the uh, system uh, uh, of making those representations appear normal and not trying to stereotype certain segment of the society certain group of people or just uh, affiliating yourself or allying yourself or attaching yourself with just certain political agenda that also doesn't make you a media literate person next looking at media messages just from one angle is not media literacy now if you feel i have an opinion i see this media like that i have this opinion i agree i disagree and if you just stick to that looking from one angle then you are not media literate again you have to be in order to be called a media literate person you have to be able to look at media from different angles of course please be warned it does not mean abstaining from media or does not in the plain words mean don't watch it just means watch carefully and think critically so that is media literacy again now we have looked at various aspects of media literacy let's recapitulate we looked at what is media literacy starting from understanding the two terms basically media and literacy and we looked at some of the very important key components let me once again recapitulate for you access please put this in your head analyze evaluate and create or produce media mindfully that is very very important components okay that are please, sorry uh, very important key components to consider yourself media literate or key components of media literacy so now having understood what is media literacy and also having uh, uh, understood it uh by trying to look at what is not media literacy it is very important to understand so next let's try to look at why media literacy is important or the importance of media literacy now we all live in the uh world where we are bombarded with 
media from morning to uh, evening, 24-7, around the clock, uh, we are bombarded with news, information, video, messages, text messages, newspaper, photos, billboards, everything is coming at us. We, if we do not have these skills, then we will not be able to survive in this world. So, in order to be able to uh, survive and be able to, in fact, thrive in the media-led world, we have to also, that is why the media literacy in, is important for every one of us. So the first important is, importance is that media literacy actually enables you and empowers you, meaning you and me, the people and the community. So next, it emphasizes on critical thinking skills. Why is critical thinking skills important? It emphasizes and empowers and enables you with the critical thinking skills. Next, it helps us understand how media creates cultures, beliefs, and attitudes. So many fashions. Today, this is trending. Tomorrow, this is trending. This is fashionable. This is not fashionable. This is uh, uh, trending. This is old-fashioned beliefs, cultures, attitudes towards I, uh, some sort of ideas or anything. It's all created by media. And if we do not have these skills to access, analyze, evaluate, and create, it will not help you to be a productive citizen. You will be misled. So therefore, media literacy helps you here to be able to understand these beliefs, cultures, and attitudes, and puts you in a position to act positively, constructively, or mindfully, basically. Next, it also enables people to have skills, knowledge, and understanding to make full use of the opportunities presented by communication services. Media actually brings forth to your doorstep, in fact, in to your hands lots and lots of opportunities but along with the opportunities it also comes with a lots and lots of enough opportunities to mislead you misguide you so therefore it media literacy will help you segregate this and be mindful of what is not important and be uh, put you in a position to grab these opportunities that are presented to you by these communication services coming at you. Be it advertisement, be it some sort of opportunities, study opportunities, uh, uh, training opportunities, anything, it will come at you, being able to uh, uh, grab something that is relevant to you, useful to you. And finally, of course, media literacy enables us to become effective communicators. We are watching a lot, we are reading a lot, and when we read a lot, we, are, we analyze it, we uh, evaluate it, then it also makes you effective communicators so that when you are producing media, you are able to produce media ethically, mindfully, constructively, and of course, effectively and be able to reach your target audience. Even if it is a Facebook post, even if it is a short video clip, you have with you the components or the skills to make it reach your target audience effectively and be able to achieve the set targets or objectives very easily. So today, in this lesson, we have looked at what is media literacy, what is not media literacy, and also why do we need media literacy. I hope you understood uh, what was presented to you, and please do remember, access 
analyze, evaluate, and produce or create media mindfully. So, take a second, ask yourself a question. Do you think you are a media literate person? Do you think you understand what is media literacy? Do you have those key components or the key skills needed to be a media literate? These are very important. These are important way beyond your examinations and classroom lessons. This is what you need from, from getting up in the morning till you sleep and perhaps even in your dreams because we are bombarded by media. And coming back, please remember this. Access, analyze, evaluate, produce or create media mindfully, ethically, critically. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I would like to um, offer my heartfelt gratitude for all those people in the field who contributed in producing this media, uh, media studies lesson on media literacy. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson. We will see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.